Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Hunting Grounds. The rut is in full swing here in Southwest Missouri, and I can tell you the THG team across the country is out there hard at hunting. They're pulling their spy points, they're looking for most recent information, doing like I'm doing today. Out here just scouting, looking for scrapes along this eagle seed soybean field, and then they got the broadside mix from eagle seed here. And I can already tell you, a lot of goals are being met this year, and a lot of firsts this year here on the hunting grounds. With that in mind, we're gonna go with Scotty this week, as he's in Southwest Missouri. He's got the bow in hand, and he is going after his biggest buck to date. Take a look. The Hunting Grounds is brought to you by Jato Gear, Hercules Tires, Spy Point, Advanced Tree Stands, Walk On Archery, Nose Jammer, Dirt Nap, Hook Line Sinker Outdoors. Hey guys, it's Friday, November 11th. Uh, I took the morning off and I'm um, going to sit in the stand. It's the day before gun season here in Missouri, so I'm hoping that I can uh, take a buck out here before um, the guns start going off everywhere. So uh, I'm going to be hunting this um, pinch point area. It's basically right between a field and a steep ridge side. Um, the deer travel through there a lot and I'm really hoping to catch a uh, buck in the area maybe looking for these does that have been in this area so um, my a friend of mine has seen a buck on lockdown yesterday morning um, this buck had a doe right by the road and a pretty good buck mature buck and he got out of the truck and was waving at him honking his horn trying to get that those deer to go on up over the hill because they're right there by the road he didn't want people poaching um, on his property there so Anyway, I'm going to head to the stand. I've got about 40 mi 45 minutes till daylight. Um, try to sneak in there and we'll see what happens. I'm sorry, I don't know if I got that on film. A doe just came through in that big buck. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. I think he's big. Put a great shot on him. 
He's big. I don't know what he is. I haven't shot a buck in two years. I've been passing little bucks. I had a big one come through this morning down here. It might be that same buck. He actually looks a little different, but, and then I had, I heard one back here and I tried to get the camera around and everything. And he just turned and went on down the hill and I could hear him scraping, <clears throat> scraping the ground, maybe rubbing trees. And, uh, and then I see that doe coming. So I start to film her or try to, it's real thick right there. And then that buck come through. I tried swinging the camera to the side of the tree and the way the camera arm was, it was hitting the tree. So it was just barely wrapping around. So I don't know if I got it on film. But he's down right there. I saw him, I saw him topple over. <laughs> oh. That's good blood. Dirt nap. Look at all that blood on there. That's really good blood. Oh, I am so thankful. I hope he's as big as I thought he was whenever I first saw him. He's unique on this one side. For sure. Oh my, he's big. Big oh my god. Look at that. He's so big. He's got mass. He's a mature buck. Look at that head on him. Oh, sorry for all the blood. Look at that. I'm so excited. Thank you, God. I just wanted to do this deer some justice this morning by actually kind of cleaning him up and setting him up here and giving you a good look at him. He's very unique. Uh, he's got this big hole here and broke off a brow tine. And he's got some really long G2s and a good G3 on this side, even on this side. And uh, I am so pumped to get this deer. This is my biggest deer is wide and uh, this morning when I first got here there was cows um, 15, 10, 15 yards from my stand and they left but then they came right back and they were underneath my stand and then next thing I know a big buck's coming through down that trail on the other side and when that deer saw the cows he took off and he and when he took off I thought and I, my, my hunt's ruined. I'm not gonna be able to get a big buck this year. Same, similar things happened last year. And I haven't killed a buck in two years. And um, a lot of, let a lot of young ones walk. And I uh, got to see some cool chasing earlier this season. But uh, what you may not have been able to tell because of my bad filming, it's tough to self film. I've never done it, try it. Um, but he was, um, I think he's either my second or third buck I saw this morning. I don't know if he uh, was the same one I saw the second time, but he was following a doe and that doe took this trail coming right out about 20 yards from my stand. And so I swung the camera around to the other side of the tree and just tried to get it on him. And uh, as you can see, my hunter safety system rope kind of blocked the view a little bit, I think, but I'd much rather be able to get the shot and do it safely than get great footage. So. Um, I couldn't be more excited about this buck. I'm definitely blessed. Um, Dirt Nat did a number on him. The Botex so quick, I don't even think he ducked or anything. He had no idea what hit him. He ran 20 yards and I saw him crash. So God's blessed me today. And I am giving him all the glory for this because uh, without him, nothing would be possible. So, anyway, thank you, Lord. He's a beautiful big bodied buck. He's gonna be fun getting in the truck. The Hunt Grounds brought to you by Redneck Blinds, Bowtech, Eagle Seat, Popeyes of Northwest Arkansas, Shea Bug Design, and by Mojo Outdoors. Well, Scotty got his biggest buck to date, and it was with the bow in southwest Missouri, and that was one stud of a buck. 
for Southwest Missouri. But it just goes to show, when you finally get the opportunity and a buck steps out, you don't always get the best film footage and you don't always get the most because those, those few seconds sometimes go by very, very quick. And that's the same truth that you guys will see on next week's episode as I make history for the TSG as I harvest my first ever buck off the TSG property right here out of this redneck blind. I cannot wait to show you guys the episode. Guys, if you are not subscribed to our weekly video series, subscribe on YouTube. You can subscribe on our website at tsg-tv.com. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. We have over 300 videos out there. Do us a huge favor if you guys would comment down below what you guys thought of this episode how your season's going, whatever you guys want to comment down below, we respond to just about everything out there. Guys, it's gonna wrap it up for this week's episode. Until next time, go your way, get a youth or a new hunter involved in the outdoors, and as always, have a better and average day.